Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with y'all boy Ducky. Today we are going to be doing an updated tarot card reading on Lee Junho and Yuna. So I just recently uh, looked and the last video I believe I did on them was seven months ago. So remember to keep in mind that these videos are for entertainment purposes. And why is that? That is because we do not have Lee Junho here nor Yuna to confirm nor deny that what I'm seeing in the cards and how I'm interpreting the cards is resonating with them or is not resonating with them. So just remember to take these videos with a grain of salt. And without further ado, let's get started on this reading. All right, so let's start with the combined energy. Let me move this mic. Okay, there we go. All right, what is... Lee Junho and Yuna's combined energy like right now. We got the seven of coins moving slow, being patient. Lots of patience. Okay, let's keep going on. What is their combined energy? Oh, these two cards wanted to come out. Six of cups with the world in reverse. Um, so I don't know much about Lee Junho or about Yuna, but there's patience involved in their connection. There's some slow movement. Look at this. Look at this dude. He's crawling on the floor just really slowly. He's going to get up. He, he'll get up. He's, he's fine. He's just struggling a little bit, but you know, he's, but with time he's going to get up. And so. This card is telling me that there's something in the works here that hasn't been finished yet with the world showing up in reverse. The world is all about finished chapters, right? One big chapter is done, but when this card comes in reverse, this big chapter is not done. And this pertaining to their combined energy together, there's something between the two of them that is yet to be finished. And I think it's something that they've done before or it's like something that they've previously talked about, worked on with the Six of Cups coming up here. The Six of Cups is this card about memory, right? It's all about um, looking back on past memories and cherishing them and looking back on them, but with like a a twinkling eye, right? You know, like you're looking back on memories, not because they were bad or because you, but like you're wanting to relive these good memories. So I feel like their combined energy, there's something that they've done in the past or they've talked about in the past. Um, and they're like still slowly working towards it. Um, but they're just, they just haven't yet gotten to being able to finish this chapter this major moment in their life whoa interesting so let's do lee junho's thoughts on you know when lee junho thinks of you know what comes to his mind what does he think what does he feel the devil <gasps> no it's not bad it's not bad this this card doesn't isn't a bad meaning when it's in this situation Let's get another one. Lee Junho when he thinks of Yuna. King of Swords. Ooh, yeah. Strong connection here. All right. Yuna, when Yuna thinks of Lee Junho, what comes to her mind? The star. Wow. Yeah. For those of you that really like Lee Junho and Yuna, I'm getting really good vibes from this reading just very exciting things oh maybe he spoke too soon we got the page of coins in reverse there's a little there's still some i mean nothing can be perfect right um but let's go with lee jun ho when lee jun ho thinks of yuna what does he think he thinks you know we, we got the devil card he thinks that there's a, a strong bond here the devil can talk about strong connections to um maybe like lust or greed but when it comes to talking about another person and the connection this can actually 
talk about like an unbroken bond, like something, you know, this is a very solid connection. And I feel like Lee Jun Ho, when he thinks of Yuna, that's what he thinks. He thinks of just someone that he connects with so well. Um, and they're very intellectually stimulating for one another. Um, the King of Swords is the intellectual king. You know, he's all about, he's very cerebral, kind of like the King of Pentacles, um, but in a, but in a more, you know, cerebral way um the king of pentacles is more like methodical and like organizing things and structure the king of swords here is structured but like mentally you know um so lee jun ho when he thinks of you know he thinks of someone who just intellectually stimulates him intellectually you know it's just is so fascinating and that's part of this great bond um now what when Yuna thinks of Lee Jun Ho, what comes to her mind? She thinks a lot of optimistic, great things. You know, the star is all about optimism um, and having like goals. And yeah, that's all I got. Uh, <laughs> it's mainly just an optimistic card, right? Um, so, you know, when she thinks of Lee Jun Ho. She's very proud of like a lot of the things that he's accomplished. She looks at him with this twinkle in her eye, little twinkle, you know, um, she just l livens up. She just, yeah, she just like gleams up, beams up. There we go. That's the word. She beams up whenever she thinks of Lee Jun Ho. But we also got the page of coins here, the page of pentacles in reverse representing you know someone who sometimes can be a little bit hard on him himself so i feel like yuna when she thinks of lee jun ho sometimes she she sees him with this twinkle in her eye and maybe she just wishes that sometimes he could see within himself like how accomplished and awesome and great he is you know um so that's kind of just what i'm seeing here now let's do a card representing, you know, for those of you that are like wondering, is there a romantic connection here? Is there a romantic possibility? You know, I don't really like to go down this route and I don't stay in this on this question for too long. But for those of you wondering, we got the eight of coins in reverse, which makes sense with the seven of coins here. Um, eight of coins in reverse. Is there a romantic uh, yeah, is there a romantic connection here or is there a possibility? With this eight of coins here showing up in reverse, I feel like there's, um, they got to be careful to not just, uh, do things for the sake of what everyone else is hoping for or what they think everyone else is going to want. Um, sacrificing the quality of something, um, for the sake of other people. Um, so they just got to be careful with that. But again, with this like seven of coins that showed up in the beginning, I feel like they're just really moving slowly in the works towards either like working on a project together, um, finishing a project together, or maybe getting to know each other more. I don't know, but they just got to be careful to not sacrifice quality over quantity. Um, and let's finish off with some beautiful advice for Lee Junho and Yuna. We got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, with the at the bottom of the deck, we got the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay. Mm. And Sacred Sight Oracle card. Oh, not this dude beheaded. Do you see this card? He's beheaded. This dude. All right, we did Medina. Um, this is all about like focusing on principles, right? Um, so the advice for them with this Ace of Wands coming up here in reverse, talking about like inaction, like slow down, there's no need to speed up, which is what they're already doing again, you know? Of course, with the Seven of Coins. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here with their connection is to be careful to not burn themselves out by 
working too hard on things and always feeling like they need to be moving and doing stuff it's okay for them to relax and chill um the three and it makes sense here with the three of cups in reverse you know the three of cups is the celebration card it's all about drinking having fun going out celebrating with friends enjoying life which is great there's nothing wrong with that right but when this card comes in reverse they need to be careful to um not always like uh, just spend time partying with one another or um this card can also talk about that maybe affection is not returned so they need to be careful with this they need to be careful where maybe like one person is not really being as caring or affectionate as the other one um but yeah that's all i'm seeing it's either like regarding to being like being more aware of like when someone is starting to give more or take more um but it, it could also talk about you know being careful to not overdo it when it comes to like partying and drinking and having fun which is great of course all in balance but they need to remember to stick to like having a core set of principles um this card talks about it's a northern card which is all about wisdom it's all about our intellect it's all and this card is a uh, representative representing principles um so they just need to remember to keep their core principles or as i like to say moral compass in aligned and to be careful to not um overdo it on the partying or going out um working too hard as well so they just got to be careful with that remember to stick to their principles and some of these principles can be like sticking to like eight hours of sleep that's something that i've lately been trying to do and i just feel so much better um so they just there's just some things that they need to stick to and be like okay ground rules uh <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm seeing with this connection. Let me know what you thought. Um, the This video kind of is a little bit shorter than the 15 minutes I kind of strive for, which is great. You know, it's fine. Um, it's a good problem to have because I feel like the... the what is the word I'm looking for now? The... the symbolism uh behind the cards and like the messages that's the word the messages that i was getting based off of the cards that were shown like they were just coming really quickly to me today so um yeah let me know what you thought of this video feel free to give me a thumbs up if you like the video or a thumbs down if you did not like the video that's totally okay i respect it um let me know what you thought of it um of and if you know if any of this resonated with what you know of them, um, I always love to be like, wow, so it did resonate. Or I'd be like, no, it didn't resonate, you know. But anyway, uh, feel free to uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm so close to 900 subs and I really, really appreciate. And it makes me so happy whenever I see that little subscriber count go up. It makes me so happy. But anyway, remember to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and sexually. Love and respect yourselves and others. And as always, stay hydrated. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.